The following trailer is rated S for spoilers. Like, seriously, the game comes out today. From the developers of some of your favorite niche franchises comes the series so successful it ensured they'll never make one of those games again. Dark Souls 3. Dive back into the action RPG series that hates you almost as much as you love it as you hack, slash, and inevitably die your way through the unforgiving world of Dark Souls one more time until you give up and run past everything to find the next bonfire. What? We all do it. Settle in for another storyline you barely understand despite being the third game in the series as you repeatedly roll your way through the aggressively monotone world of Lothric, or is it Lordran, Lando Calrissian, and quest to murder all the Lords of Cinder in order to, uh, light a fire? Actually, let me just look this up real quick. When Gwyn linked the fire and banished Dark, man became much less. He says that man assumed a fleeting form. Well, that cleared up absolutely nothing. Get ready for the most self-referential Souls game yet, as the third game desperately tries to recall everything you liked about the first one, featuring the Firelink Shrine, an Orlando, Andre the Smith, Onion Bro, Praising the Sun, Depressed Night Guy, Dragons Breathing Fire on Bridges, those asshole knights with the giant arrows, and that absolute bastard Patches. What happened, friend? Then, breathe a sigh of relief as you notice that practically nothing from the second game is coming back, except a tedious gimmick boss fight against a giant, because who didn't love that part? Then shudder in horror as you realize that this game has no less than three separate poison swamp areas, because f*** you, that's why. Oh. Prepare to die all over again in what might be the hardest Souls game yet, as all your series experience won't stop you from getting smashed, stabbed, tossed off bridges, covered in blood-sucking maggots, and fondled by terrifying abominations. Then get ready to be brutally sodomized by some of the tensest boss fights in Souls game history, where you can't even get out of the tutorial area without getting destroyed by a giant. Every new boss sends you into a controller-shattering rage spiral, and you barely survive their savage blows by furiously chugging your magical Gatorade. Then die anyway because your camera gets stuck inside a wall or something. Yeah, this seems totally fair. Experience the extremely minor changes Dark Souls 3 makes to the established formula, like special weapon techniques that you'll completely ignore, purple summon signs that you'll never touch, and a covenant system that'll have you changing belief systems faster than a freshman religion major. Then cringe in frustration as you realized they haven't fixed any of the buggy bull that these games have had since day one. So hang up your top hat, grab your Moonlight Greatsword, and get ready to praise the sun one last time. And remember, it doesn't matter how bad you are at the actual game, you can still talk shit about it on the internet. Starring Here comes the Maiden in Black, Armor Shrek, Mr. Steel Yo Treasure, Andre the Giant, Blacksmith, A Real Bummer, Prince Joffrey, and Ash Ketchum. Dork Souls 3, Get Good Edition. You thought praising the sun was all that? Try praising the moon. Yeah, baby. Be sure to subscribe for more honest game trailers and tell me what you'd like to hear me say in my awesome voice. My armor is contempt. My shield is disgust. My sword is hatred. I am America and so can you. Would you like to know more? Let's play horse. I'll be the front end, you be yourself. We are born by the memes, made men by the memes, undone by the memes.